Hi. I gotta do a selfie because my friends are not gonna believe that I'm actually doing this right now. So hang on a second. This is audio. I only have five minutes. I'm gonna waste a minute doing this. Hang on. Wait a second. All right. Smile. Come on, we could do better than that. I'm gonna go on this side because these guys seem much more hip. Hang on. All right, smile. That is totally gonna go on the Twitter. Um, all right, so I have a clicker, and I'm gonna hopefully I can know how to use this thing. All right, uh, I'm Michael Pritchard. Um, I'm with a company called Willow Tree. Uh, we uh, basically build apps. We we work with some of the biggest and best brands and companies on the planet. Uh, we do most of the work here in Charlottesville, Virginia. And the only reason I say most of it is because we just did open an expansion office down in Durham, North Carolina. Um, some of the team is here right now. Matt Yoey, by the way, he's a badass. So, uh, um, yes, clap for Matt Yoey, please. Please, please. Um, um, but I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about, you know, who we are, what we did, where the company came from, a little bit about this whole technology thing. And by the way, I'm pretty narrow mind. Uh, narrow, narrow mind, is that the right word? I don't know. I'm bad at expressions, too. Anyway, I, I focus on one thing, and that's building software. So I know there's lots of other great things happening in this city, so, but I'm going to talk about what we do. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, you know, Durham and all that. But honestly, I really want to point out that Charlottesville is one of the best cities in the world and that you can, do very, you, know, you can do great things here. So hopefully I can encourage you guys to actually start companies here and, and not, not basically you know, make excuses as to why you can't do it. Because if you're making excuses as to why you can't do it, you shouldn't be doing it at all. Because I'm going to tell you, anything you do, no matter where you are, is going to be hard. And it's going to be really hard. So uh, you've you got to be in it. So, all right. This is who we are. This is some of the brands that we work with, um, from HBO to Wyndham to Lidl now. Where, uh, Lidl's a supermar uh, German supermarket behind Walmart. Uh, we're doing all their UX strategy, all their mobile for their, their um, for, uh, coming of 100 stores in the United States, et cetera. Uh, this is all really cutting edge stuff that some of you, if not a lot of you, have been touched by Willitrue and you may not know it. So uh, that's kind of creepy, but cool. Um, all right. so. We started back in March of 2008, that's over here, um, and we started actually in my townhouse up in Chatham Ridge, I'm going to go faster because my time's running out, um, in, a, in one of the bedrooms, uh, the iPhone SDK came out, downloaded it, we're like, holy crap, this is amazing, started recruiting all my friends to start building apps. Our first app was done through a Google ad, sort of buying Google ads, pretty awesome service, got $3,200 to build a parking garage finder. That's big revenue. By the way, revenue all that matters in any company. So that was 3200 bucks. I got picked up by Apple. Uh, it was all the advertising, et cetera. Fast forward to today, to 2016. Um, we're a little over 130 people, actually, not 100. Um, and we work, again, for, for some pretty amazing things, built the entire stack from strategy to, to development to you name it. And, and, and just so you guys know, it's not just apps anymore. It's handsets, tablets, connected cars, TV. Um, we're doing some, some of the fuel dispensers of the future, which I wish I could show you guys, but I can't do that right now. So I'm moving on. All right, what is happening in the technology world? Uh, well, you guys might have heard of a guy named Mark Andreessen. He's pretty big. Uh, Pretty big dude in our world. Well, he made a comment in 2011 called Software is Eating the World. If you don't know what that means, then come see me and I'll explain it to you. I do not have time to do that right now. But, but basically, software is taking over a lot of traditional businesses, etc. Um, you've already seen it happen in the mobile world. Disruption, Uber, Lyft, which by the way, I'm a big Lyft fan now. I do like Uber too. Communication, commerce, etc. This is really disruptive, changing stuff that, that allows folks to, 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 to do some pretty incredible things. Um, one thing I want you guys to know, and this is really important, that software development salaries are pretty high. The national average is from Glassdoor. I'm not making it up. 86,000 uh, in Charlottesville, based on Glassdoor. Which, by the way, we're uh, what number are we? Number five, Matt. Best place to work. Number six. I don't know. Uh, 74,000. The median in Charlottesville, I think, is 64, and in the county, it's like 54. So these are these are great paying jobs. What do people do with that? They go and they spend it locally, right? I didn't make this picture up. This is, this is from 2014. This is some of the team. By the way, our office is right above Tempo. Come by, say hi. We do Beer 30 on Fridays. You're all welcome to come. 
Uh, six taps, by the way, and I just talked to Hunter about getting champion in there. Um, but what happens is we spend it, we spend it in the community, which means that, that, that everybody benefits, right? All the stores, you know, all the uh, uh, restaurants, you name it. So it's really important that us as a community embrace technology companies and companies that are trying to produce these kind of jobs um, because, because it's really important. Um, I'm going to slow down in 30 seconds. We did it in Charlottesville. Keep doing it in Charlottesville. We did look at other cities. We looked at about 30 cities across the country, um, every, everything from Boulder to, uh, to um, Chattanooga, you name it. Uh, we, this is a bigger spreadsheet. We analyzed everything from, okay, so you see immunity from poaching. You see some of the parameters that we had of, of why you could do this, hipster level, et cetera. Um, <laughs> this is real. We didn't make this up. Um, but, but one of the key things about, about Willow Tree is that, or Charles Bush, it's not about Willow Tree, is that we are, in the, we, we are getting hired because we can, we can attract and retain top talent in a market that our cost structure is lower than what we're going, our competitors out of New York and San Francisco and some of the other areas, right? So that is a huge benefit that, we can, that other, other cities cannot do. So we're big proponents of small cities can kick the crap out of these big companies, by the way. So... I'm trying not to use potty mouth words. If anyone knows me, this is really hard for me right now. Really hard for me. Um, so we anyway, we settled up for we settled for for Durham for a lot of reasons. One for the community, for the inclusion, for where they're at. But I got to tell you guys that that aside from 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 Durham, which is a cool place, Charlottesville is better, and 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 and, and we have a lot of potential here to do some pretty big stuff. So one thing we need to do, and I'm going to skip to the best slide. You know, this is something we need to continue to strengthen inclusivity, you know, businesses, even if we compete with each other, we're in this together. So let's work together to make this happen. And we do that with, with, with people here, um, obviously, you know, working, uh, investing in housing, et cetera. And one big thing is embrace change, right? I know we want to keep a lot of stuff in Charlottesville, Charlottesville, which is great, but do embrace change and don't be afraid of it. But more importantly, this is a pretty awesome quote. It's something that kind of bugs me. I, when I hear people say, I can't start something in Charlottesville because there's no capital, there's not enough talent, there's, you know, the, the streets are not blue, I don't know, whatever. If, if you are actually doing that and thinking that, don't start a business, okay? So if you want to live here and do something, do it. Just go ahead and do it. And guess what? If we all keep doing it, the talent's going to stay here, the money's going to come here, it's all going to jive. Just do it. That's all, that's all I got to say. All right, see you guys.